there's always somebody out there that's going to do whatever they can to have your money off you or have one of your possessions off you. They're called con artists. They're everywhere. And their methods become more sophisticated as the years go by. In fact, I remember years ago, my uh, partner at the time was uh, the victim of identity theft. We were waiting for a debit card to arrive. And this is back in the day when you purchase something, they printed off the little chitty and you had to sign it instead of the chip and pin that we have today. Well, somebody intercepted her card, uh, signed her name on the back of it any which way they wanted to and went on a bloody spend up, started off around the corner from ours and up to London. Well, in the in a time of the cost of living crisis, I think things like this are going to be even more prevalent than they ever used to be. It's a valid excuse, isn't it? But it, it still goes on. I read a thing today about uh, a celebrity that was uh, a victim of this, and the absolute brass tack of the perpetrator was unbelievable. And also, as well, what the judge said, it just gives you no faith in our justice system whatsoever. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing alright. Yes, uh, identity theft, nicking somebody else's credit cards or uh, fooling their identity so you can uh, acquire goods and services under somebody else's name. This of course uh, happened to Eamon Holmes, he, he's been off for quite a while with ill health with uh, back trouble, shoulder trouble and all sorts of that, so, you know, and, uh, we wish him well and uh, hope he's all right now. But he had a bit of a story to tell. Listen to this. It's a couple of minutes worth. See, there is only one Eamon Holmes right. in the UK. Not actually true. A woman in Glasgow named her child <laughs> Eamon Holmes as You're well. You're so joking. It's, no, it's true. It's true. So I think the poor child is now, I think he's 18 or so now, right? But anyway, that that is it. However, in Belfast, there's only one Eamon Holmes, right? Yet a guy was able to go and live in a hotel in Belfast using my name really? for two solid weeks in the top hotel in Belfast, right? And no Don't one thought ideas. no one thought <laughs> of saying, You you're not as handsome as Eamon Holmes. You, you couldn't be Eamon Holmes. But he went and he lived in the central oh, Belfast hotel did he get done? for two weeks. Well, he went to this uh well, I'm trying to think of the appropriate word for this judge. Um well, out of touch judge. Okay. But basically, he stole a lot of money from my bank account. Oh, and really? then bought, we bought um, building materials, slabs, concrete. I was expecting that. Okay. Or marble, fireplaces, all okay. sorts of things, right? And uh, But at the end of this, uh, the judge said, it's a victimless crime. It's so he wasn't sent away, right? And the judge basically thought that uh, I should meet up with this guy and, and reconcile with him, whatever it is, which I basically told them where to stay. <laughs> Um, I, I think it is a victim's crime because, you see, when your identity is stolen like that... You think you it just, isn't a victimless crime? It's I not. Think, a, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah. it is a victim. Sorry, it isn't yeah, a victim's yeah, yeah, crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Victim, yes, that's right, what Because you then suspect, you say, I handed Isabel my card in that restaurant and I said, pay for Oh, you're that. not still going on about that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you begin to suspect people around you. Who did you fool? Yeah, of who course. Who could have done this? No, it's horrendous. Who, you know, people who, who work for you, yeah. people, you know, all sorts of things. So you suspect lots of things and there's the stress about it. Now, I was very lucky in the fact that the bank um, reimbursed me, but, you know, to... Well, it's good for Eamon that the bank reimbursed him. It's bad for Eamon that this perpetrator didn't get sent to jail. And Eamon was told it's a victimless crime and you need to meet them and uh, reconcile your differences. I mean, if that's the kind of treatment that these people are being handed in our courts, what hope is there that justice will ever be served and this will carry on? There are loads of you know, different crimes of this nature where I do have to wonder whether they're taken seriously anymore. This one, no less. Again, best wishes to Eamon. I uh, hope he feels better. And uh, it's a good job he got all his money back. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you soon with another. Toodaloo.